Hey guys, I want to share some of my playing with you and for those of you interested maybe a bit on how and where you can start. I started my apprenticeship with the Yoshida brothers exactly eight years ago this month. A year ago I had the opportunity to play with them on TV and shortly after that I was lucky enough to be able to document the process of having a brand new shamisen built by a Japanese craftsman. This is that shamisen here. My old one is actually sitting there in the back. And this is how I practice pretty much every day, m minus the, the camera and all that. It usually starts with tuning. Because a lot of people are curious, the strings are tuned to C, G, C. There are no frets. The biggest string is made out of silk, the smallest is made out of nylon, and the middle one is made out of something called Tetron. After tuning, each practice tends to start with something called Bachizuke, which goes like this. And that's actually one of the most challenging things that you can do. That is the warm-up, and it serves two main purposes. Number one is obviously an additional layer of tuning, but originally the shamisen was played by blind musicians, and this was their opportunity to let people know that a performance was about to start. Many Tsugaru shamisen songs actually start opening with that bachizuke. My first while of shamisen practice, or okeiko, was literally just that initial strike that... Or... Or the... <laughs> it reminds me of trying kendo a while back and focusing on that first strike over and over and over. And still, after eight years, every single okeiko starts with... A little bit of a shamisen fun fact, I go through about one of these bachi every year to two years and they do not come cheap. Because of the size that I use, I used to be able to get them at about $1,200 US, but recently they've gone up in price and are getting closer to $2,000 per bachi. We're searching for alternative options. Now after practicing the bachi zuke, we usually go into a song called Dokudan. Now this song is a great warm up because it has most of the difficult techniques in Tsugaru Jamisen wrapped up right inside of this one song. Even in that one that I did there, I stumbled a little bit in the beginning. I usually do a couple rounds of this song to help me warm up, but today I want to do something just a little bit more interesting called Kamashi. Now Kamashi is really fun, it's really fast, it's got a lot of build up, let me just... Like that. But more than anything, that definitely takes a lot of stamina. It starts out really easy. This side is easy. It's this side that's doing all the work. If I were to play that really slow, it's like this. It's just that again and again. And then you just pick up the speed. It's really easy to get carried away with those. There's actually another one that you do at the end of the song, which again, all this hand does is move up and down, like this. That's it. Everything else happens right here, like this. I love warming up with the Kamashi because it requires so much stamina because there's so many different ways to play around with it and because there's such a variety of different Kamashi you can do like And usually after warming up the first song that I'll practice almost every single time is called Tsugaru Jongarabushi. It is like the main song of Tsugaru Jamisen.
Now that song, that song is really challenging. It was actually passed to me from the older of the two Yoshi brothers and then I spent a couple of years adjusting it, changing parts and forming it into my own version that I use for performances and the shamisen competitions here in Japan. Being able to play something like that takes years of dedication, which is one of the reasons that I don't always recommend people to start the shamisen. I practice on average for a minimum of one to two hours every single day. On days where I have a little more time, that'll go anywhere from four to five hours if possible. But for those really interested, I'm gonna share a little bit later on about how and where to get started. My absolute favorite song to play is the one I've been learning for about the last year or so called Ibuki. Honestly, this song is just so much fun to play and since this is my favorite part of this entire video so far, I, I want to share something with you. I've actually secretly been running a Patreon for the last while as a place where I can put out content and do streams for only those people who really want to be a part of it. There's a secret podcast, a hidden Instagram account where I go live once a week. It's just a fun place to hang out and lets me spend more time with you. A few people have found it already so I thought it was time to let you know that it exists. If you want to come out and hang out over there, I would love to have you. Anyway, I think that's given my hands enough of a rest that I should be able to play a little bit more of Ibuki. I honestly just love this instrument. It's become such a huge part of my life. And a lot of people have asked where they can get started and how they can get started. First and foremost, I'm gonna link it below. I would recommend starting at Shamisen Komatsuya. There's a couple different reasons, but the main one being that Komatsu-san, the Shamisen maker who actually made my Shamisen, A, is someone I definitely trust both the interaction and the quality of his products, and B, even a beginner Shamisen, like the one that I have behind me here, can cost you thousands of dollars. That one there was well over 2,000 American, but Komatsu-san has made something called the Shami Boy, which is kind of more like a beginner just kind of play around shamisen like if you're not super super serious and you don't want to invest hours a day and thousands of dollars the Shami Boy is a really great place to start. The main part is I actually trust the person who's selling it and the quality of their work and their products. I've seen way too many people go in the wrong direction and spend far too much money on a Shamisen that almost definitely wasn't worth what they paid for it. So start with Shamisen Komatsuya. If you have additional questions, feel free to hit me up. If there's enough interest, it might even lead to the creation of something exciting, but I kind of want to get back and do just a little bit more practice. Also, I'm well aware that this video has probably created way more questions than it's answered so if you do have questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below I'm definitely gonna be doing a shamisen Q&A video at some time if we have enough interest I'm also gonna link an entire playlist of shamisen content that I have put together but I kind of want to wrap things up with just a little bit more playing there's so much that you can do with the shamisen and there's a few things that I've been working on things like That's actually the first part of the song that I used to open up this video, the one that went like... I think that's it. I think that's all the stamina that I have for today. This has been a lot of fun and I'm so glad that you actually took the time to join and watch this video. I'm hoping that this can be the beginning of much more Shamisen content to come. Again, if there's anything that you want to know about, I opened up the question on Instagram the other day and got so many amazing responses that almost each and every one could become its own video. So if there's anything specific that you want to see or know, don't hesitate to let me know down below. There really is so much more that I wanted to include into this video but this is kind of a, just a peek at how I practice the shamisen. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get back to practicing and I will see you guys again real soon. I, 
I don't know if you can hear that, but just kind of been on a break for the last while because there's because there's a dog that just keeps barking. And if you were planning on making the ice scraper joke, I I've already heard it. Looking forward to doing this video so much, I cannot even tell you. Like as a creator, you tend to hold back on the content that you really care about, the personal content, and put out stuff that more people will be interested in, which is one of the reasons I created the Patreon, kind of a safe space where I can share the stuff that I really like with the people who really want to watch it. But for those of you who have watched up to the end of this video and, I don't know, potentially enjoyed this piece of content, thank you. I, I appreciate you so much. And I am so lucky to have you here. Just thank you for being a part of this. I really, I really enjoyed. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually just gonna get back to, get back to playing for now. I, <laughs> it's not gonna be good, but I'm gonna.